Today I'm gonna to talk just a little bit about how we're utilizing our CAT4 data when it comes to planning. So anytime that you're planning, I'm gonna thank Soriana for creating a sample lesson. So we're gonna look at the lesson plan and then we also look at our CAT4 data here. So this data that everyone should have in their classroom really breaks down verbal, who's low and who's high, nonverbal, who's low and who's high, your quantitative, once again, who's low and who's high, and our spatial, low and then high. If you also notice, we also have our class low. So we know what our class struggles with. This class, which is section 7D, struggles with verbal and quantitative. So that means if I'm having a high verbal lesson or a high quantitative lesson, that my students automatically might not get it or understand because that's not where they're registered. In fact, if I look here for verbal, for my class low, I see that I have Walid and Kareem, but I have nobody except for Zaid who's in high. So that's one thing I need to be conscious about when I'm planning. My class high is no profile or even biased. You're gonna see that information in another slide on what do we do when we have that situation because we must be conscientious. So now I go into my lesson plan. For my day one, I know that I follow in this case what my textbook gave me and this is the dot plots. So if you come over, you can see that I have my objectives. However, I have an engage hook, which is play video. That's actually very good because here, even though they need help problem solving, they might not understand visual information for a nonverbal, but we need to make sure that we're utilizing that information to give visual information here. So what we're doing now is we're providing a video to help support our CAT4 students who struggle in that area. We also look here and we kind of outline what our class has to do. In this case, although we turned around and did a plan, we said that this lesson is highly quantitative and spatial. So because the lesson is highly quantitative and special, I also see that I don't have students that are very high quantitative. So in this case, I know that in order for me to be teaching or focused on that, I'm going to have to do activities or worksheets, and I don't wanna say worksheets, activities or projects that support our students because this lesson is taught in a way that the majority of my class is not going to understand. So one, if I'm doing a lot of quantitative talking, that means that I'm not at the board for longer than five minutes doing a problem or explaining because my students are going to zone out. Two, I need to make sure that I have as much support as possible, so I'm gonna utilize my technology to make sure that I have models or graphs or data posted up in order to understand and not just numbers. Three, I'm also gonna make sure I'm utilizing questioning strategies throughout to help guide the checking for understanding. So this might be a lesson where I'm not worried about how much I do versus the authenticity of what is being done in the classroom. Well, let's go back to the lesson plan. What I'm now looking at is that across the week for period one, period two, period three, period four, and period five, I'm teaching basically in one set way for my CAT4 battery. That means that I'm teaching majority of my class at this point in time, 70% for this week, is something that they're not strong in. I can already tell you at this point that if we give a quiz or if we give a test off of this, our students are not gonna show mastery because we presented the information in a way that's not masterful. So in the next couple of slides, we're gonna brainstorm on what we can do with the same lesson to be able to make sure that we're supporting our students in growing and learning. What we need to be able to do is to be able to look at this first and not give lessons that start off with our students and their struggles, but actually start off with our students in their strengths. If we provide information where they're strong first, hence my class high is no profile or even bias, if I give out information that way that supports it, then that means my intervention is only coming where my class low is. But if I'm presenting information first in a high quantitative manner, I'm already setting myself up to have students who do not understand. So that's just a little bit about how we can use our CAT4 data, just one sheet, to actually reflect our lesson planning and what we're doing. I'll talk to you soon.